Hi everyone, in this video of algebraic identities, we shall take up questions related to factorization of algebraic expressions using identity 3, which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now over here, a square minus b square is the product and whose factors are a plus b and a minus b. So now let's start with our first question. It is given 25p square minus 9q square. Now 25p square can be written as 5p whole square and 9q square can be written as 3q whole square. So clearly this is our identity 3 where a is equal to 5p and b is equal to 3q. So our factors are 5p plus 3q into 5p minus 3q. Now let's move to our second question. It is given 16a square b minus 64b cube. Now over here if you observe 16 is a common factor of both these terms and even b is common. So taking 16b outside as common factors inside the bracket we are left with a square minus 4b square. Further we will write it 16b in bracket a square can be written a whole square, 4b square can be written as 2b whole square. Now if you observe this is clearly identity 3 where a is equal to a and b is equal to 2b. So substituting these values in our identity 3 we shall get 16b into a plus 2b and a minus 2b as the factors. Now let's move to third question. It is given 25x cube y cube minus 49xy. Now if you observe over here xy is common. So taking xy common we'll, we are left inside the bracket with 25x square y square minus 49. Now further we will write xy we will bring forward and in bracket 25x square y square can be written as 5xy whole square and 49 can be written as 7 whole square. So now again this is clearly identity 3 where a is equal to 5xy and b is equal to 7. So substituting these values in the identity 3 will get the factors as xy which we had already taken common and 5x plus 7 and 5x minus 7. So these are the factors of this given algebraic expression. Now let's move to question number 4. It is given p raised to power 4 minus 256. Now this identity 3 is related to a square. So we have to write p raised to power 4 in a whole square form. And we know that 2 into 2 is 4. So what we can write is whole square of p square minus now 256 is 16 whole square. So clearly now this is identity 3 where a is equal to p square and b is equal to 16. So its factors will be p square plus 16 into p square minus 16. Now we have an identity 3 with a square minus b square. We have no identity with p uh, with a square plus b square. So p square plus 16 will remain as it is and we will further factorize p square minus 16. So further we will bring down p square plus 16 as it is and p square can be written as p whole square and 16 can be written as 4 whole square. Now clearly it is identity 3 where a is equal to p and b is equal to 4. So again p square plus 16 can be written as it is and p square minus 4 whole square the factors can be p plus 4 into p minus 4. So these all are the factors of a given algebraic expression. Now let's move to our fifth question. It is given a square minus b minus c whole square. Now a square can be written as a whole square minus b minus c whole square. Again it is identity 3 
where a is equal to a and b is equal to b minus c. So we shall substitute these values in our identity 3 and we'll get two factors as a plus b minus c in bracket and then a minus b minus c in bracket. So further we will open the brackets and we'll get a plus b minus c and a minus now because minus sign is outside the bracket all the signs will change so it will come a minus b plus c so these are the two factors of our given algebraic expression now let's move to sixth question it is given 25 m square minus 4 n plus 3 l whole square now 25 m square can be further written as 5 m whole square minus whole square we have of 4 n plus 3 l. So clearly again it is identity 3 where a is equal to 5 m and b is equal to 4 n plus 3 l. So we shall substitute in identity 3 and we'll get two factors as 5 m plus in bracket 4 n plus 3 l and 5 m minus 4 n plus 3 l. So these are the two factors. Now we shall further solve it by opening the brackets. We, we will get 5m plus 4n plus 3l and again minus sign is there. So all the signs inside the bracket will change. So 5m minus 4n minus 3l. So these are again two factors we have got of our given algebraic expression. Now let's move to seventh question. It is given 2a plus 3b whole square minus 4c square. Now further we can write 2a plus 3b whole square. Now 4c square can be written as 2c whole square. So again this is clearly identity 3 where a is equal to 2a plus 3b and b is equal to 2c. Now substituting these values in our identity 3 we shall get two factors as 2a plus 3b in bracket plus 2c and then again 2a plus 3b in bracket minus 2c. So further we shall open the brackets. We will get 2a plus 3b plus 2c as one of the factors and another factor 2a plus 3b minus 2c. So these are the two factors of our given algebraic expression. Now let's move to our question number 8. It is given 64 m square minus 144 mn plus 81 n square. This all is in bracket minus 25 p square. Now if you closely observe this bracket, this is identity 2. So first we shall solve this bracket. Now 64 m square can be written as 8 m whole square. 81 n square can be written as 9 n whole square and minus 2 into 8 m into 9 n. If you observe it is identity 2 and here a is equal to 8 m and b is equal to 9 n. And further we will write minus 25 p square can be written as 5 p whole square. Now further we will write the factors of this uh, big algebraic expression which we will get 8m minus 9n whole square minus 5p whole square we will bring forward. Now if you observe again this is identity 3 now where a is equal to 8m minus 9n and b is equal to 5p. So we shall substitute these values in identity 3 and get two factors as 8m minus 9n in bracket plus 5p and 8m minus 9n in bracket minus 5p. Now we shall open the brackets and we shall get 8m minus 9n plus 5p into 8m minus 9n minus 5p. So these are the two factors of the given algebraic expression. This is how we have factorized the given algebraic expressions using identity 3 in all these questions. Thank you everyone.